Well, well, well. <sighs> Team, keep it clean. Good afternoon. Why that camera kind of close to my face? I got to back it up. Um, anyway, out here in the, uh, in this probably, what, 90, it got to be 95 degrees out here. Maybe 96, 97. It's, it's pretty hot. But we in South Florida. Anyway, so that's expected. Um, now, you know what? Let's just get straight into this whole thing, man. Because this is, uh, we ain't going to be here too long. But, yes, appreciate y'all coming. Man, y'all come through so fast, man. It's a, it always surprised me how fast y'all come through. But, anyway, uh, before we get into it, let me introduce myself. Me. Um, I'm in Graven Vids, and a lot of trucks are going to be on the way driving driving past me while we do this live stream um and this is my youtube channel uh engraving viz and if you're new here make sure you subscribe and if you're old here then make sure uh, appreciate y'all man thank you um and for the all the people who never made this stream before thank you appreciate it I, I i like that a lot um oh for any other people in here that try to promote their page we don't do that in here man I just gotta address that because I see that happening a lot. Um, which I know YouTube is a it's a it's a cra it's a cold world in YouTube. The, the YouTube community, the YouTube world is cold, but everybody gotta grind for what they uh what they trying to go for. And by promoting on here is not the way to do it. So let me address that, and that's it. On to more positive things now. Even though that wasn't really negative, that just had to clear the air with that. Anyway, <laughs> oh, make sure y'all leave a like on the video too. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Now, shout out to the people that, that comment on here. The angry, upset, impatient fans of football um, or just of people live streaming. The people that say, you engraving, you take too long to get to what it's about. Oh, well. We're two minutes in and we still ain't even talk about it yet. So, um, we just found out about, about 30 minutes ago that uh, Jeremy Zuda, Jeremy Zuda, who the, the Ravens actually traded to the 49ers um, a couple was it it's been a couple months yeah a couple months ago he just got cut from the 49ers yes definitely on that work grind um, he just got cut from the 49ers and somebody tweeted me um, 40 minutes ago to be exact and they said oh engraving do you think that um do you think the uh, the Ravens are gonna try to bring him back no not at all not at all um, I don't even know why people would even think that if, if Baltimore got because Baltimore didn't really gain much cap room from releasing him. If Baltimore got rid of him, why would they try to bring him back? He wasn't even good um, for us this past year. He was good for us when he first came aboard, but maybe I wonder if that was because of because the people around him were a lot better, too. Um, Madden comes out. Uh, for everybody, August 25th, but for people on Xbox One with EA Access, it comes out, um, somebody said the 35th, <laughs> but for people with, with, with uh, EA Access, it comes out next Thursday, we'll be playing it. So shout out to everybody on Xbox One. Um, all, all these dudes dropping these Madden videos today, I have not watched one yet. I haven't watched one video yet. Um, I don't want to get, I don't want to get jealous. I don't want to get in my feelings, man, because I'm... I wasn't invited. I don't never get invited to none of that EA stuff. Um, but I don't even want to watch it. I don't even want to see the game yet because I don't want to be like, oh, man, I want to play it so bad. I do want to play it, but I'll be all right. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, and it's only like a week away anyway. And I didn't even pre-order it yet. I need to pre-order. So my, when my, once my thing runs out, those 10 hours, then I'll be good to go. Anyway, um, no, don't regret getting it. But anyway, Jeremy Zuda, he, he ain't coming back to Baltimore. It's, it's a reason... It's a reason that they uh, that they traded him, and they traded him for like I think I think it was for like a, a conditional pick or something. It was like nothing. They they got rid of him for for a reason. So he ain't gonna come back no time soon, or probably not ever. Um, even with them, even with the whatever problems they got at the center position, he still ain't coming back. So don't count on him. Don't I, I hope none of y'all really like hoping for him. Uh, Cause it ain't. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen at all. Um, oh, y'all make sure y'all leave a like on the video, man. It's, it's it's 34 people in here, but only 17 likes. That's a 50% ratio. That's broken, man. That's broken. Um, now on to. Oh, appreciate that. See, th thank you for y'all that liked the video already, man. Thank you for the ones that's liking the video right now. Um, but yeah, man, these 
moving on to um i have xbox one and ps4 i'm definitely going to be playing madden 18 on xbox one ps4 i'm not sure about yet i want to but i'm not sure because if i don't want to pay for psn and then not even be using it um i barely have like that much time to even play as it is um but i don't know we'll see man but anyway um on the flacco do you like your gamer tag what what does that mean um on the flacco we still waiting on word about flacco man um yes texans do play today it's the first preseason game of the, of the season or the first regular preseason game of the season i'm in south florida man leak like what are you, what are you talking about dream what's what's my gamer tag on xbox one is that what you're asking uh, the game tonight is at 7.30 Eastern Time, I believe. My gamer tag is engraving. It's in all the videos. Eh? Not these videos, but it's in all the videos, the other videos. Um, but Flacco, we still ain't heard no, nothing on Flacco yet. Um, still ain't heard anything on Flacco yet. Uh, but Scotty joked around about his back injury um, yesterday, but we still ain't get any official word, man. So, so we're still waiting on that. We're still waiting. Um... And I know Flacco probably like, you know what? I'm not coming back until Austin Howard starts practicing again. Um, no, I didn't see Jimmy Smith's interception. I didn't see it. I need to watch it. But if he's doing it in practice, that's one thing against Ryan Mallett. And it's like, uh, Jimmy Smith, nice pick, but that's Ryan Mallett. If he does it in real games, then I'll be like, okay, thank you. But really, the, with Jimmy Smith, I'm not really even like worried about him. The only thing I'm worried about is him staying healthy. Because I know if he's, if he's healthy, then, hey, appreciate that, Lewis. Thank you. <laughs> if Jimmy Smith stays healthy, then I ain't got to worry about him at all because I know he's a beast. But if he gets injured or something like he usually always does, then that's when I would be worried. But anyway, yeah, that's that. A Steelers fan. Steelers, Steelers, Steelers. What can I say about Pittsburgh? I, I like We talked about Pittsburgh earlier this morning. Uh, since what's the name got um, got his little contract or whatnot, uh, not little contract, but he got his big contract, making him the uh, the highest paid running back in the league. Uh, so I know Le'Veon Bell is looking at that, and right now Le'Veon Bell's like, oh yeah, I'm about to cash in real soon once Pittsburgh finally cave in. He knows his money is coming. Um, no, Bell didn't get his contract yet. Devonte Freeman did, but you know that Le'Veon Bell saw it. Somebody asked me something really quick. Oh, Baltimore looking bad in this Kaepernick situation? Yeah, they they did, but that's dying down now. It's, it's dying down a lot. Um, now, if if they do get another quarterback or whatever, then it's going to rise up again. But as long as once Flacco gets healthy and they don't need, they don't sign Kaepernick or whatever, since they're not going to for sure now. But um, once Flacco gets healthy, then... This thing will like it'll die like way down, so they ain't even gotta worry about it anymore, and they could just we could just move on. Even though there was to be some people, of course, that probably won't ever move on, but it is what it is. Um, I'll be streaming it in the lifeguard room. What? Uh, what do I think about the fullback competition? I said earlier I thought Ricky Ortiz was gonna get it. Right now they said that um. They said that uh, Lorenzo Talafiero is leading away, which I ain't mad at. I like Lorenzo Talafiero. Um, having him at fullback would kind of be like having like an H-back, somebody that could do it all. Because uh, he can play running back too. So if with Kyle Juszczyk, when it was like third down or something and he lined up in the backfield, you knew it was a passing down and he was just going to be back there to, uh, be back there to block. But now with Lorenzo Talaferro, he's gonna be off, or he's in the lead to be off fullback, but he can play running back too. So you, it'll it'll give a little less um, it'll be less obvious when they go up against somebody. So that's that. Um, say we don't want him. I can dream. Yo, funny. Hope Color can do good for the Dolphins and not flop. Yeah, hope so. I hope he does do good, except when they play Baltimore. Other than that, go ahead, put on a show. Put on a show. Something about me, I don't, I don't bet at all. Um, and if I do the pickums, it'll just be for fun. Where you like pick the games uh, before they play them during the week. Something just tells me about this. Uh, no, wait a minute. Who do the, the Dolphins gonna play Patriots first, right? Whenever, when do the Dolphins play Patriots? Can any, can anybody look that up? 
Can anybody look that up for me, please? Uh, who's the first Dolphins game of the season? Yeah, Ravens need to go to the playoffs. They need it. Um, yeah, Flacco said he'll be, he'll be back pretty soon, but yeah, that ain't saying much. That can't be the first time they played him in December. Ain't no way. Man. When's the first time they played him? Though? But who's Dolphins' first game? If anybody knows. He said Malice sweating bullets. Yeah, he got to be. He got a lot of pressure. Oh, are we going to any Dolphins game this year? Mm, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they play the Bucks first. Okay. Why did I think they were playing Patriots first? But Patriots got to play Falcons sometime soon. Eh? Basically, we got free stuff from San Fran if we get Zuda back. That's true. The Bucks got it. Bucks versus Dolphins. Two Florida teams. Hmm. But, yeah, I don't know if we're going to any Dolphins games or not this year. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think Flacco will be ready for the Bengals game. I mean, I hope so. Because if we're going into Bengals um, with Ryan Mallett, I mean, he beat Pittsburgh, though. He beat Pittsburgh. But that was two years ago at the same time. We can't hold on to that forever. We can't do, like, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but you know how a lot of Pittsburgh fans be? When, um, because all they would do is talk about, oh, yeah, we got six Super Bowls. We got six Super Bowls. We got six Super Bowls. Six Super Bowls. And they'll hold on to that forever. I understand if some of them were like, oh, Big Ben got two Super Bowls. That's fine. But if, if they talking about, oh, yeah, we got six Super Bowls and four of them were before half of these people were even born. So it's just like, uh, you don't even need to say that. Um, why Florida teams are doing bad in football and NBA? Well, football, it's been like that for a while. I, I like Bucks though. They're getting better, man. Bucks getting a lot better. I see the Ravens offense being a little, a little off early in the season because of the Joe Flacco absence. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. That's true. What's up, Boris? Terry Bradshaw and the Steel Curtain was 40 years ago, man. Yeah, man. That's what, I, that's what a lot of them do, though. Not all of them. Like I said, it's not all of them. So this is not for all Pittsburgh fans, but for enough of them. A good chunk of them, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we got six Super Bowls, blah, blah, blah. And like I say, half of the people that say that, they weren't even born. They weren't even born when those, uh, when the, the first four happened. But what Mar what Marquis said, what's going on, Iconic? I feel like Matt Ryan is going to end up like Cam Newton. Great breakout season, MVP losing the Super Bowl, come back next season and turn out to be awful. Ooh. That'd be scary for, uh, that'd be scary for, for, um, Falcons fans, man. That'd be really scary for them. Said they had a 34-year drought. No, I didn't see the uh, I Did Boy Yejo video. I still can't even say that dude's name, man. Oh, somebody asked some um, Tim White or Quincy or QA. I say, I say both, man. Um, hmm, you think they would keep seven receivers? I don't think they would unless them dudes were just like special team standouts. Um, even with kick returns, too. If one of them could do kick return, because I believe they said Tim White can add to the uh, return game, that that would put him. They would have. They might have more confidence in him than Michael Campanero, because Campanero always getting hurt. So if one of them could do like punt and kick return, that would help his chances of making the roster that much more. Because Campanero always being hurt, he always injured. Um, he's nice, but he always hurt. So we'll see, man. White is a returner. Oh, yeah, that's what we need, man. We need an explosive return. Did we get any? Did we get any kick or punt returns for a touchdown last year? I know. I know. Pretty sure we didn't get punt, but did we get kick? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. White about to be on the squad. Yeah, we'll see, man. Yeah, we'll see, cause I keep hearing nothing but good things about both of them. Um, and like I said before, uh, after they got signed to Baltimore as undrafted free agents. A lot of people would tweet me and comment on the videos and be like, oh, man, look at, look at these two. Look at Tim White. Look at I Am Badejo or whatever. And I'd be like, okay. Uh, I don't know anything about them, so I can't get hyped or whatever. But now um, Baltimore been talking about them dudes a lot, man. Like the people actually in Baltimore. We almost did, but it ended in a fumble. Yeah, Hester did play bad for us. And then as soon as he went to the Seahawks, he said, oh, you know what? I'm on a winning team. Let me show out now. Humphrey, we ain't getting nothing on Humphrey yet. Still waiting. Still waiting. Sent more injuries than recruitments. Last punt return was Clay Thompson. Wow, I forgot about that guy. That's crazy, man. I think that was the Ray, that was the game Ray Lewis was at, I believe. Where um I think it was against the Texans. I forgot. But that's the game where everything was going right. Which one are you talking about, Draymond? I'm about to go back in here now too. 
Since I'll be at the game, I'll let you know what I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, do that, man. Oh, yeah, you going tomorrow, man. You must be hype. You must be hype, man. That's what's up, man. You enjoy it. Because we... I don't... I'm still kind of undecided on going to the Dolphins and Ravens game. That's next Thursday. Because we got something to do on Friday, and we got to be up early in the morning. Um, so I don't know. I don't know yet. Because if we, if we went there, we would just go there and chill for a little bit. Then go home, but I, I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah, Kaylin Clay. There we go. Thank you for fixing it. Kaylin Clay. I think I said, what did I say? Clay Thompson? I, well, I'm over here talking about basketball. Man, I suck, man. You see you see how bad I, see how bad I am? That's how bad we need football back. I'm over here saying the wrong, I'm, I'm in the whole, I'm in the wrong sport, man. Not even in the right sport. Man. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and get up off of here now and go back to work. Uh, appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Um, I'm out. Y'all leave a like on a video too, man. Talk to y'all real soon.